Hey, welcome back to the Tiger Claw Karate Dojo. Today we're going to be going over one of our black belt requirements, which would be our first judo throw, which is Osorogari. Osorogari comes to us from Kodokan Judo. Kodokan is, uh, was founded by Jigoro Kano in the 1880s. Uh, it became an Olympic sport in 1964. And we're going to show you the, the judo way of doing this, and then also the combat variations, which you'll also find in our Combat Karate Set 1. Okay, first off, before you can do any judo, you have to learn to fall. Okay, so the first fall we're going to learn is the back fall, which is called Koho Ukemi. Now, when you do back fall, the easiest way to learn this is you sit down on your booty, cross your arms like this, you're going to roll back, you're going to tuck your chin to your chest, and you're going to slap the floor with your palms and your forearms. Don't drive your elbows back, don't try to catch yourself with your hands. You're going to roll back, not fall back, but roll back, and no, don't let your head touch. So I'm going to roll back, and when you come up, you can come up into your snake stance. So again, I cross my arms, tuck my chin, roll back, and that is a basic back fall, koho ukemi. Remember, ukemi means break falls, and it's the first thing you learn in judo and aikido and jujitsu and wrestling, <laughs> everything. Uh, the next one we're going to be doing is the one we're probably actually going to use when you're being taken down with those solar guards, so it's very important. It is hirari sokoho ukemi, which is basically left side fall. Okay. Now, the best way or easiest way to learn this you can start off same position, cross your arms, extend your left leg, you're going to roll back and only strike the ground with the mat with your left arm. You can put your right arm across your body because you're not using it. So you're going to come down. Good. Now again, keep your head as far away from the mat as you can because the number one most important aspect of falls is to protect your head and your spine. Okay, so that is Koho Kemi and Smit or Hidari Sokoho Kemi. Now we're going to go on to the basic judo throw, which you'll find in the black belt requirements for the Kodokan. Uh, since Kenny? First off, we're going to do a randori fitting. You're going to grab onto the jacket, the, the lapel, and you're going to grab onto the sleeve underneath. Okay, so your right hand grabbing the, the lapel, left hand grabbing underneath the sleeve. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is I'm going to move forward and off to the side, just like this. And then I'm going to bring the leg behind, and then I'm going to sweep out the leg, calf to calf, as I pull and I push at the same time. Uh, since Kenny's going to demonstrate. And you can see how that side fall comes in handy. <laughs> All right, now, when doing this technique, let me get like this so you can kind of do this along with me. Uh, when doing this technique, the first thing you want to do is step your left foot out. You want to step out far enough that you can get your other leg behind. Also, you want to bring this arm out. As you do that, you bring the other arm in. Okay. So from here, just like that. You want your shoulder to shoulder. You want to glue your shoulder to their shoulder. Hiko no meetsu means the body of black and blue, and that's what we're going for. You want to be stuck to them. So two people become one person. From there, bring the right foot behind. You're going to lift the foot from the ground, sweep it, calf to calf, extend through as you push, and bring the person to the ground. Uh, okay, so that's that. <laughs> now the uh, combat version of that, or the, the one we use for our combat karate set, is if your opponent throws a punch, you move off to the side, you ridge hand at the same time, you grab on, you pull into the knee, and you sweep out the leg and take them to the ground. Okay. Right. A couple other variations. Okay, uh, excited on that. Okay, I grab onto him. and he's got it, okay? So on this one, from grabbing from the side, he's going to block my arm out, he's going to apply a ridge hand to my face, and then he's going to grab onto me, knee, that disrupts my balance, and then he's going to sweep out the leg. Another variation, using a Taekwondo uh, variation. Block, and on, on that one, as Michael's taking me down, he also uses his elbow to push up makes it look a little better. Yeah. Uh, now, one more variation uh, from a roundhouse kick. If he throws a roundhouse kick, this technique is called flying tiger. You catch the leg, punch the stomach, sweep the leg, and he goes to ground. Okay. Okay. Uh, Osoto guard is extremely versatile and very effective. Make it one of yours. So practice a lot. And if you don't have a partner to practice with, that's called Tendoku Renshu, and that's fine. Uh, but it's best to actually work with a partner. Make sure your partner knows how to fall. If they don't know how to fall, make sure that they practice 
from the beginning of this video. Uh, also, if practice somewhere safe, something uh, soft, preferably. If you're practicing in the yard, watch out for sprinklers or anything like that. And wear clothes that you don't mind getting destroyed. <laughs> uh, lastly, this area, the mat area, is called a tatami. A tatami is designed to take up to a 50 mile per hour fall. And a real tatami is a straw mat that smells really bad. So thank goodness for the new, new products. Uh, keep up the good work. And this is Tire Call Karate Dojo. Oh, like, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All right, thanks.